Right, let's see. New patch notes. 10 minutes old. So first of all, they're buffing XP and leveling. So instead of it being only up to 25 and 50%, they're making it all the way up to 40 and 100%. So that's insane for leveling alts. You can level way more alts now. And it's going to be so much quicker. I think you can probably like 1 to 40 in like 10 hours with that. Maybe like 12 hours, something like that. Especially if you get like the sleeping bag and uh, all that extra rested XP as well. It's going to be insanely quick. Uh, in addition, they are nerfing the cost of mounts. They're halving the cost of mounts, so that's nice. But yeah, I think what we do is we make the druid ult. And I think I'm also going to make another ult. I'm not sure. Yo, Z, thank you so much for the raid, man. GG's today. It was a lot of fun. I'm not, I can't remember what ults I said I was going to make. I think I'm definitely going to do a druid. Oh, an Ellie Shaman. I want to make an Ellie Shaman. I think Ellie Shaman is going to be hella fun. Lastly, we'll be increasing the base gold reward from quests 1 to 39. So that's nice as well. Going to be a little bit less gold farming, which is awesome. Leveling adjustments for when phase 3 launches and the level cap raises to 50. We'd also like to continue to make mid-phase adjustments to make it smooth, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, raid size at level 60. The yet to be announced level 50 raid will be a 20 man. Molten Core will be 20 man as well. So it looks like they're probably not going to nerf Molten Core, but because everyone is doing more damage, there's no point in having it be a 40 man raid and buffing the raid, right? And if they don't buff it, it's trivial, right? So making it a 20 player, I think is, I think is good, right? It makes it a lot easier to pug. You don't need as many people. I, th I think that's good. I like that. Itemization change at 60. One thing we've also not talked about yet is our thoughts around level 60 end game rewards and the very significant changes we have planned there. And that may also be a key piece of missing of, of context missing to help illustrate our philosophy on different raid sizes in SOD. We currently plan to revamp many items from dungeons and raids, including the existing 20 player raids at level 60. So yeah, because I mean, obviously the SOD gear is so much ahead already that all of the 40 loot at the moment was probably just going to be straight up be worse than the 50 loot, right? So, yeah, that makes sense. We want to itemize for as many different builds and playstyles as possible. Yeah, so a lot of the old loot is kind of questionable. Like, there's random spirit on all sorts of weird pieces that don't shouldn't have spirit on. And a lot of items have stats that you don't really want instead of, like, a good amount of spell damage, that kind of thing. So, I think they're most likely going to be improving a lot of cast loot. And, and this way, a lot of the 60 loot from, like, dungeons and stuff like that isn't just going to be worse than the SOD 50 loot, right? So, that's kind of nice. I like that. I mean, it, it makes sense. We currently have plans to make adjustments to the difficulty of all raids. Okay, cool. As well as the power level of rewards available. This does not mean making raids harder or easier across the board relative to player power, but looking individually at each experience and defining what those experiences are about and what their purpose is. Theoretical example, a raid that may have traditionally been considered to be catch-up as Zul Grub could see adjustments that bring their challenge level up slightly, but also greatly increase the quality and diversity of the rewards so they feel like a viable progression path alongside other content in the phase, such as Blackwing Lair. On the flip side, we also want to make sure that any 40-player raids that exist remain approachable, i.e. puggable. I don't even know what this means. That maintain that soda and pretzels feel. Okay, I don't know what that means. Of 2019 classic raiding, where you could bring almost any group comp or experience level and have success. Okay. So essentially they're going to adjust the raids slightly. Most likely make it a bit more difficult in some scenarios. I don't know if they're going to make anything easier. But I just think we're going to be so much stronger that making it easier wouldn't make sense. That's pretty much it. They want feedback. Oh, you know I you know I give feedback, bros. You know I give feedback. You know what I need to do? I need to go through uh, my convo with Perp and find all the good ideas that I've sent, sent his way. And put them all in a doc. Because every time I have a good idea, I send it to Buff. <laughs> he must be fucking sick of me by now, man. I swear. But we'll do a nice little doc of all these banger ideas we've had and put together and, and do a video about it for the lols. I reckon it'll be fun. But yeah, we, we, we always enjoy chatting about these kind of things. Uh, so yeah, that's the changes coming. Mostly stuff in the future, but this XP buff will be in from the 5th of March. So a week. All right, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. It's just a little quick update. Have a good one.